Good morning and welcome to St. Andrews on this beautiful morning. We're so happy to see so many of you here today, especially because we are supporting our Vacation Bible School children. And they are very excited today to be here to present to you what they've been learning throughout the week. Just a couple of announcements before we begin and a reminder that we are now in our summer services time of year, and so all the services will be at 10 o'clock throughout July and August, right through to the uh, last, the long weekend in September. We still have a few turkey pies left for sale. If you're interested, you can uh, get them at the office during the week between 9 and 12. Our pantry has been very successful, and that means we're running out of things. They are in need of reusable uh, grocery bags to pack the, gr uh, the groceries in that they give out on a Monday morning. They are also very much in need of boxes of cereal, so if you would be willing to donate cereal, we would be most appreciative. Next. Starting on Monday, we're going to be having a very uh, interesting week here. Choir Camp 2024 begins, and there will be over 100 singers in this building throughout the week, uh, learning and enjoying music together. During the week, there will be two concerts. Wednesday night, Matt Chittick and some very prominent musical friends of his will be putting on a concert at 7.30 here in the sanctuary. And then on Friday night, all the people that participated in Choir Camp 2024 will be presenting uh, so they're the music that they learn throughout the week. So there'll be a mass choir of over 100, and then there will be smaller choirs that perform. There's going to be uh, a medieval choir, for instance, and there's going to be a ukulele group as well, um, and some other fun things that you can enjoy. And now at this time, I would like to take this opportunity to thank all the people who worked so hard this week to make Vacation Bible School such an astounding success. Without these willing volunteers, VBS would not have happened. I would like to thank Diana Vandermeer for all her work in the office, taking in the registrations and keeping track of the attendance. Matt, thanks goes to Matthew Allard, who helped teach our songs each day, and to Tina Farkason, who led the games and story follow-up. My thanks goes to Brian Barber, who looked after showing the video each day and running the sound system for us. A special thanks goes to Nancy Robinson, who prepared our wonderful snacks each day. And in fact, she left, put the leftovers out there downstairs for you to enjoy following the service. Thanks goes to Jean Gould and Kathleen Barker, who led our crafts during the week. All of these people took leading roles in getting the message out to the children. The 38 children who attended were divided into four groups. The amazing group leaders were Penny Fenwick, Jackie Hoekstra, Daniel Eno, Mary Louise Cameron, Dana Danvenport, Joelle Ekma, Ellen Vandermeer, Jenna Davenport, Paula Ekma, Lily McTeer, Donna Thompson, and Judah Hoekstra. It almost takes an army to pull off VBS, and I can't thank all of you enough for the time and the dedication that you gave this week. My sincere thanks. Now let us worship God.
The kingdom of God is here and coming. Like the seeds that fell on the ground, help us to be the people who hear and understand the message. The kingdom of God is here and coming. And let your light shine so that we may see your good works. The kingdom of God is here and coming. God the kingdom of God is here and coming. Do not be anxious about your life, what you will eat, what you will drink, nor about your body or what you will put on. Life is more than food and the body more than clothing, but seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness and all these things will be added to you. Dear God, thank you for understanding our hurts. Thank you for caring about the condition of our hearts and listening when we pray. You are a loving, compassionate Savior. There are so many issues in this world. You knew we would struggle with this, so you spoke words that offer us hope. We have those words recorded in the Bible to remind us to seek your kingdom first. When we do, everything else will fall into place. Thank you for the Bible. Thank you for meeting our every need as we focus on you. Help us read your words in scripture as though you were right here with us, speaking to us personally, because you are. Help us focus on you first, every day, by starting each morning in prayer. You know what we will face today, and we trust you to provide. Thank you for giving us hope and teaching us about love. May your will be done in our lives today and every day. In your holy name we pray, amen.
Jenna, did you move my paper? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> right there. That one? Oh, dear. <laughs> Wing it. My paper. <laughs> this one? Yeah, that's it. <laughs> Now, are they in order now? I don't know, but I'll put them in order. Thank you. <laughs> this year, our VBS focused on the kingdom of God. We learned that the kingdom of God is within us. It is all of the good that is inside of us. The kingdom of God is here when we share God's message with everyone. The kingdom of God is here when we show love, compassion, forgiving, grace, and all the fruits of the Spirit that we learned about last year at VBS. The Kingdom of God is demonstrated when we treat everyone fairly. The Kingdom of God is shown when we put God first and do what God wants us to do. Using the parables in the Bible that Jesus told the disciples, we learned about how to recognize the Kingdom of God today. The children would like to share with you some of the things that they learned. Each day, we started our VBS with these two songs. Our first scripture is reading taken from Luke 17, verse 20 to 21. Once Jesus was asked by the Pharisees when the kingdom of God was coming, and he answered, The kingdom of God is not coming with things that can be observed, nor will they say, Look, here it is, or there it is. For in fact, the kingdom of God is among you. On Monday, we talked about what God said about the, first, um, the about the kingdom. The Bible tells us that we seek first the kingdom of God. We learn the Bible verse each day and songs to help reinforce what we were learning. Verse 33. <laughs> 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 
Our second scripture comes from Matthew 12, 1 to 9. The same day Jesus went out of the house and sat beside the sea. Such great crowds gathered around him that he got into a boat and sat there, while the whole crowd stood on the beach and he told them many things in parables, saying, Listen, a sower went out to sow, and as he sowed, some seeds fell on the path, and the birds came and ate them up. Other seeds fell on the rocky ground where they did not have much soil, and they sprang up quickly, since they had no depth of soil, but when they when the sun rose, they were scorched and slaves. They had no root, they withered away. Other seeds fell among thorns, and the thorns grew up and choked. Other seeds fell on good soil and brought them forth grain, some a hundredfold, some sixty, some thirty. If you have ears, hear. On Tuesday, we study the parable of the sower. When Jesus told this story, he wanted us to understand that the seeds represent his teaching about the kingdom of God. The soils represent four different ways that his word is received in the heart of people. When the seeds that were thrown fell on the path, they could not grow. This represents someone who hears God's words but does not understand it. The seeds that were thrown on rocky paths represent those who accept God but then soon forget about him because they get busy or have other things to think about. The seeds planted among the thorns and weeds represent people who became Christian but are very influenced by the world around them. They may attend church and live good lives but they never really truly believed. The seeds that fell on good ground are the produced good plants 
These are people who hear Jesus' message and take it to heart and live by it. Our scripture reading is taken from Matthew 5, verse 15 to 16. People do not light a lamp and put it under a bushel basket. Rather than they put it on the lampstand and it gives light to all in the house. In the same way, let your light shine before others so that they may see your good works and give glory to your Father in heaven. On Wednesday, we learned about the parable of the lamp. This parable means that the light of God should shine bright in your life for all to see and not be hidden away. Jesus wants Christians to be like the lamp on a table who light up the darkness of the world for others to see, see their good deeds and glorify God.
Scripture is taken from Matthew 20, verse 1. For the kingdom of heaven is like a landowner who went out early in the morning to hire laborers for his vineyard. On Thursday, we looked at the parable of the vineyard workers. A landowner employed some laborers in the early, mo in the early morning and promised them a denarius for a day's work. A denarius was the coin used in Jesus' time. At 9 o'clock, he employed more workers and told them he would pay them whatever is right. Then he did the same thing again at noon and five o'clock. At the end of the day, after all the labors were finished working, he paid everyone a denarius for their day's work, whether they had worked all day or worked only for a few hours. The workers who worked all day or most of the day got angry because they had worked way harder than the groups that joined later. They said, that's not fair. The landowner reminded them that he paid them what is what they had agreed to receive. This is a lesson about community. God treats people, well, not because they've earned it, but because God is a loving God who loves us all the same. Oh, you 
Scripture is taken from Matthew 13, page 45 to 46. Again, the kingdom of heaven is like a merchant in search of fine pearls. On finding one pearl of great value, he went and sold all that he had and bought it. On Friday, we looked at the parable of the pearl. In this story, we learn that the kingdom of God is like a merchant looking for fine pearls. When he found one of great value, he went away and sold everything he had and bought it. Getting the pearl was the most important thing to him in the whole world. That shows us that the kingdom of God should be the most important thing to us, just like the person who gave up everything for the pearl, because it was more important than everything else that he had. The kingdom of God is like a merchant looking for fine pearls. Matthew 13, verse 14. that we studied this week taught us all that God is the most important thing in our lives because the kingdom of God is within us. When we hear God's message, we are called by God to take it to heart and to let our light shine for all to see and know that God loves us all equally. This concludes our VBS presentation. Thank you for being here to show your support and witness what the children have learned. We hope that the children will remember to let their light shine and share the good news that Jesus taught us as they have shared it with us today. Your VBS kids. <laughs>
What a wonderful program. I was here this week. I'm Pastor Ed Hookster, by the way, for those who don't know me. I've been here at St. Andrews for about three years, and um, I just love Vacation Bible School. What happens, though, at the end of the week is um, you can, all the kids here have the opportunity for a water fight, eh? And uh, I was a target in the most nice way. I got drenched, and so did other leaders, and it was just such a fun time. And that's what I want us to remember, that the kingdom of God, that you guys talked about, you learned about, you sung about, is joy. It's fun. And it's about um, having that seed planted on good ground, right? And then you can understand God's love, and then you're free to be the person God wants you to be and share that love with others. It's an amazing journey. And I love doing this in the song. How did that song go again? Anyone? <laughs> Be good ground. Okay, that's one. But where are we kind of going on the journey? This is the way of the kingdom of God. Keep going. Thus our prayer is need reps us to share. This is the way of the kingdom of God. For thine is the kingdom, the power, the glory, forever and ever. Amen. For thine is the kingdom, the power, the glory. This is the way of the kingdom of God. This is the way of the kingdom. Let's do the re refrain again. For God is the kingdom, the power, the glory, forever and ever. Amen. For thine is the kingdom, the power, the glory. This is the way of the kingdom of God. This is the way of the kingdom of God. Okay, everyone stand up. You've heard it rehearsed a few times. And we're going to do, for thine is the kingdom. Okay, and Lori, can you lead it? And thank you. Yeah. Come on. No, just the refrain part. We're going to do that a couple of times. Yeah, that's right. This the kingdom, the power, the glory, forever and ever. Amen. For thine is the kingdom, the power, the glory. This is the way of the kingdom of God. This is the way of, again, come of God. The kingdom, the power, the glory, forever and ever. Amen. For thine is the kingdom, the power, the glory. This is the way of the kingdom of God. This is the way of the kingdom of God. Wonderful. You all were able to sing the song. Please be seated, everyone. And it's a precious gift to know that you are loved by God's grace. And we make mistakes. Like, we want to be good ground, but we don't always, we aren't always good ground, right? And we know that God is good. God loves us. God knows us by name. And to have that planted in your good ground, and then that grows your whole life, right? And you get to know God even more the older you get even if you live to be a hundred you're always learning more about God's grace which is God's unconditional love that never lets us go wherever we have to wherever we are in life so it's a beautiful message for all of you to share with us today thank you all those who were in vacation Bible school and I want to thank Lori Lori did a fabulous job Lori please stand for a minute yeah yeah Lori um, just was so excited. It wasn't just that she prepared and she presented it, but she believes it. She 
has so much joy and enjoyed it as she was sharing this good news of the kingdom of God with the kids. And um, thank you, Lori. I so appreciate it, and I know everybody else does too. And uh, the kids had so much fun. It was so great. And we hope that everybody will come back again next year. And you're always invited to be part of our Sunday school, which happens every Sunday, except in the summers. We don't have official Sunday school, maybe next year, but throughout the year. And we just hope that all of you will see this as your second home, that this doesn't just belong to us, that you know, even if we've been here for our whole life, 30, 40, 50, or more years, this church doesn't belong to us. It belongs to God, and you're all invited to be part of the kingdom as we worship and we're reminded every week how great is God and how great is his kingdom of love for each one of us. Bless you all as you uh, could share this message with us today. Amen. So we're going to go on, and I'm going to lead you in a prayer at this time. And then after that, we're going to have an offering and we'll continue with the service. Let's come to our God in prayer. Dear God, you are a great God. Thank you so much for this week at Vacation Bible School. Bless us, Bless us as we leave this place. As you teach us to be good ground. And to show the kingdom of God. To those we meet. Thank you for hearing our prayer. Amen. Beautiful. And I just want to share with you some prayers of the people. Uh, for the whole congregation. Blessed are you, O God, for all your goodness to us. In Jesus, we meet your love and wisdom face to face. Through the Holy Spirit, we recognize the abilities and the opportunities, God, you create in us for each of us to go out to the world and show the kingdom of God, your love. We thank you for all the ways friends and families, neighbors and strangers reach out to us and to others, offering support and kindness, speaking up to confront wrongdoing, celebrating when achievements bring happiness and healing. Blessed are you, O God, for all your goodness to us. Today, God, we pray for courageous leaders in cities, countries, and congregations who strive to serve with integrity and honesty in a world prone to self-interest. We pray for those who struggle to create justice where it's been compromised and to build understanding in divided communities. God, we remember before you quiet and reliable leaders who keep their word and meet their deadlines so that we can depend on them in these unsettled times. Blessed are you, O God, for all your goodness to us. Dear God, We pray that you work your kingdom in each one of us to be healers to others, to be encouragers, to be people who love as you love us. Lord, we remember before you those who are ill, those who couldn't come today because of that, those who are here in worship, and Lord, those who are in hospital wherever they are. We pray for healing. We pray, Lord, for those who are so ill that they're close to death. Lord, we just pray that your peace and the promises you give of abundant life and life eternal rests in their hearts today and in the days ahead. We pray for those, God, who have lost loved ones, who have died. And we pray, Lord, that you give them your peace at this time as they miss their loved ones. Lord, we pray for those who are looking for better health, for a fresh start, for more stability or a glimpse of hope. Draw close, Lord, to all those who are suffering, those nearby or far away. Lord, so many are experiencing poverty and conflict and illness. Lord, we pray that we can Show hope to them. Show your kingdom 
to them in the way you teach us. Blessed are you, O God, for all your goodness to us. God, receive our prayers, both spoken and unspoken, and embrace us with your love. Give us hearts to understand not only what you do on our behalf, but also what you call us to do on your behalf, for we are friends and followers of Jesus. Thank you, Lord, for teaching us to pray, saying these words. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. It's now time for us um, to have an offering. Could we all please stand? And shall we pray? Dear loving God, thank you for being with us, for knowing us, and providing for us. Lord, we pray that these gifts that we have given go to advancing your kingdom and uh, bring relief to those who are hurting, Lord through our ministries, through the work of this church, both close by and far away. Thank you. We're grateful, Lord, for what you give us. And thank you that you call us to give towards others. We pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. And shall we sing our last song? Please remain standing.
dear friends, receive God's blessing and go in peace. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God the Father, and the friendship, the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you always, this day, tomorrow, the day after that, and forevermore. Amen. And I understand there's a time of fellowship. We can meet with one another and some refreshments downstairs. So everyone's welcome and, and pictures. And pictures to see. If you have to go, we understand. But you are so invited, encouraged to come. Okay, God bless you.